Whenever I look at a three, four, five right-angled triangle, I become very much excited because I know something interesting is cooking up. Today we have this triangle and inside this triangle we have a square. Our job is to find the area of this square. So, can you figure it out? Okay, now suppose this is the angle theta. Now since this is 90 degrees, thus this angle will be 90 minus theta, right? Now this is 90, therefore this is also 90, and thus this angle will be theta. So far, so good. Now, this is 90 minus theta. Also, this is 90 degrees. So what will be this angle? It will be theta, right? And finally, since this is angle 90 degrees, therefore this angle will be 90 minus theta. Amazing! So, why are we doing this? It's simple, because now we can see that all these three triangles are similar to each other. And they are also similar to our big three, four, five right triangle. Great! Now, let us label the side of this square as X. So, all of them will be X as well. Look here, the angle opposite to side 3 is theta, and that opposite to 4 is 90 minus theta. Therefore, since this side is opposite to angle theta, it will be similar to 3, and thus this side will be 4 by 3 times x. Now, in this triangle, side opposite to 90 minus theta is x. Therefore, this side will be 3 by 4 times x, right? Next, add all these three sides to get x, plus 3 by 4 times x, plus 4 by 3 times x. Take x as common. We get 1 plus 3 by 4, plus 4 by 3 times x. This fraction will become 37 by 12 times x, but it is equal to 5. Solving this, we get x equals 12 times 5 by 37, or 60 by 37. Now the area of this square equals x square, or this, which is approximately 2.63. Don't forget to put square units. What an amazing problem. So good.